let's get the YouTube going here. Boom. Hope everybody had a, hope everybody had a fantastic weekend. Hope everybody's starting to thaw out. Because the bulls sure have thawed out, and the order flow is strong. 483.98 currently at SPY. The low volume uh, test is approved, and we are free to roam about the cabin here. Uh, today is a bit of a place setter in terms of catalyst for next week. Obviously, we have a little bit of catalyst this week, like we always do, but the big bread and butter is next week. Multiple mega cap earnings in addition to FOMC. Uh, but in this week, we need to do a little bit of due diligence to figure out just how far this thing's going to go. We accumulated for five weeks. We had some crazy good VPA entries, obviously. Friday was an incredible, incredible day, one of the best in the past year. And this morning, we have a continuation to 484. Now, the option chain is finally starting to build some pressure to the south. We have a whole bunch of GEX posted lower. Uh, red levels, and but we still have some up top. Not to say that we're completely void of upwards liquidity, but we do still have some um, some pointing into the 488 area on SPY. But we'll see. There's the market open. We have on Bookmap everything up to 4897 with a small iceberg. Nasdaq has up to 17625, which is another uh, 100 or so points. But uh, so far, we're, we're tracing just a touch. VIX is up to 13.53, slightly green. TLT is hovering flat, and XLF is strong. <clears throat> XLF is strong. Yeah, YouTube's, uh, YouTube's good. That's posted. So, good morning, good morning. We'll see how things roll here. Very curious. I, as always, I don't typically like to put on too many trades the first half hour on a Monday, more so than normal 30 minutes, because I'd like to let the market kind of shake out and do its thing. Um, VIX is rolling off hard, 1348. If you look around the X's at the moment, they're mostly green. In fact, NVIDIA is up another 0.4%, uh, 598. Looks like they're going to be trudging along to 600 here soon. Apple is up. Uh, Microsoft, everything is up except Tesla. They're down to 211 after a little bit of recovery there. So, morning YouTube. How's it going? Ice baths, cold showers are better than coffee. Oh yeah. oh yeah, I'm actually not a huge coffee fan. I'm not one of those like uh, that needs to have coffee yet. I could, I could honestly do without it. I'm more of an ice, ice water type of guy. I think ice water will get you, uh, get you amped in the morning. Some nice green coming up. We have a 312 iceberg on Nasdaq, which is quite large. On ES, we have all this little pressure up to 4896, which is about a 12 point move. XLK pop, yep. So tech is kind of rolling along here. Big green on Microsoft, big green on Apple. Apple squeezing up here, new pre-market high there. Amazon is coming down to new lows, and they just absorbed all that 4890 there on ES. NASDAQ is bouncing all the way back up. What's up, Peter? Candle pattern plus BPA. I love it. Let's do it. Let's do it. So I know your first thought is going to be when to take puts after such a green move. And I, I was ready for this this morning. And I want to be a little bit more patient. I want to be a little more patient here. The time will come to take a nice healthy put for a good retracement. But I typically don't like to be shorting a breakout. A breakout I sound a Russian there. A breakout of accumulation right after a five-week accumulation. So the first, yes, we might have a little retracement back down to grab some liquidity. But... I'm not looking for a big top wick rejection just when we break out. Unless it's a fail breakout, which is possible. That's and that's what today is for. Is to um is to do that, confirm that. Let's see here. What do we have? I'm waiting uh, for where to pull back entry on SPY. There you go. Well, on the hourly chart, which is kind of what I'm sitting on right now to start the week off, is um, they're just using the 8 EMA on the hourly all the way up. Very strong trend. We are coming into a bit of a trend line here on ES to the top. <clears throat> we finally broke through the trend on SPY and, and, and kind of grabbed higher. And obviously, with all-time highs, there's not too much need to look back on beyond what we currently are. 
we have no historical price action on which to gauge pivots. So it's all based on the forward-looking data, which is about normal operations most of the time. Amazon's holding their low of the day. They're back to Friday's close. Apple is beast mode. Microsoft dumped all the way back over hard. Apple is the only loan rejection left. Not to dump. We'll see what they do. Four eight nine six here is top liquidity. NASDAQ is climbing healthily. Uh, new pre-market high right there. Just took out, NASDAQ just took out pre-market highs. Doing its thing. Done for the day. Nice, John. Well done. Still going. 48481. Into 4894. Apple's 1893 here, so we have a lot of pushing and pulling. ES is 4893. They wiped out all this upper liquidity up top. They don't, not really much else here. We do got this 4,900, which is just under the 00, 4,898, just under the 00, zero level. What's up, Mira? How you doing? Welcome, welcome. First thing I first is I need some music. Everything is green now except Microsoft. Tesla has now gone green, and Microsoft has gone red. So they flipped a roni there. Um, and NASDAQ just go give a nice little big old top wick right there <clears throat> on down. Amazon continuing to dump. Microsoft is continuing to dump. Apple, small top wick after a very large green open. Large red candles. Forty-eight, ninety-one, fifty. <clears throat> Let's have an awesome day. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Forty-eight, ninety-one. Snag to put at the top. Nice. Top wick here. Seventeen, five, five, six. Small retracement off that liquidity. So you see already. What do we have? Let's start painting the picture here. If you look across on both ES and Nasdaq, right here. What, is, what do we see happening at the moment? Let's start painting these pictures. We've already got one liquidity rejection, a second, and then now a third. We have three rejections off of the 17574. So if we don't have historical price action, we have to start looking at the stuff when it occurs, as it's happening. So we have an obvious supply right in this area with three healthy rejections off of it. Now this one here will be determined because you're, in terms of Wyckoff, a third rejection sets the tone. A fourth rejection is game time. So if we were to bounce back up and heads up right up here, and you start to see them bottom wicking, bottom wicking, pin, bottom wick, bottom wick, bottom wick, then I, what I'm going to expect is bloop right there. So that's what we have to wait and confirm. Now hopefully you're doing this on the 15 minute at least, maybe even a little further. But that's what I'm looking for right here, is to look for this thing to start to absorb the supply and go higher. Now if it full on rejects and dumps, then we know how strong this supply actually is. It's very strong. But I'm watching this level right here. I'm just watching the price action. And then, of course, the volume fluctuation. Now, the volume fluctuations are a little bit wonky the first half hour. We know this. But remember, I do not want you to make any bearish decisions long-term on today's chart until we close, until you hear the bell. Then after that, we can kind of make a decision on what's going on here. Is that the NASDAQ? Yes, it is. This is the NASDAQ. SPY is doing the same thing, although a little bit stronger than the NASDAQ. That's because if you look at Microsoft and Amazon, they are plummeting, plummeting. 
Apple is still just rocket ships, man. Rocket ships, just Saturn V rocket blasting. Yes, I use that analogy because we just watched Apollo 13 in the movie room. Great movie. But SPY is a lot more bullish here than NASDAQ. You should put that pick on your fridge. I love it. How does uh, the plot, the pivot low and high indicator help? You're talking about the morning range? No, the black and yellow low high. Oh, um, it doesn't really help. I just, I have it on there just so I can have a little bit of situa situational awareness on, on the prices, but it doesn't, it doesn't, I could take it or leave it. It doesn't, it adds very, very little value, if any. It just tells me where they pivot, where I can look at it without having to set my cursor on there and see what the price is. More of a convenience thing. Yeah, NVIDIA's about to blast 600 here. And a uh, nice little healthy red on NASDAQ. Yep. Yep. Uh, I'm seeing different iceberg stops than you have. Is Do you use the defaults? No. Uh, so I... I the, the, the icebergs will change depending on your zoom level. It'll zoom in and out. It'll see them combine and reject and like separate. Uh, however, I do use the settings to filter out the small stuff. Man, look at Apple. It is rocket ship. Rocket ship. What's NVIDIA doing? Uh, NVIDIA's... Well, that's not right. Why is that doing that? Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, Apple, NVIDIA dumped back over, Google dumped back over. In fact, everything dumped back over except Apple. Apple's the only one that's on a rocket ship at the moment. <clears throat> NASDAQ putting on some healthy sales right here. I just scalped a short on NASDAQ um, on that play, so that'll be my first play here on down. When will NVIDIA stop growing? It's like a freaking freight train. Yeah, well, right now, the... The major trade right now in the market is AI, the AI euphoria, and that's that's the safety trade right now. Mega caps are the safety trade. That's where people are parking their money in, in the in the major growth section here. Until otherwise. Man, this thing is really dumping now. Look at this. Booyakasha. Split coming for NVIDIA, probably not before eight hundred. Yeah. Yeah. That's really good. They're going to continue to do that, man. Make it. Uh, they're going to take advantage of the fact that this market is the most is the most heavily participated market in history, and it be it benefits them to split the stock. It opens it up to more investors and a lot more volatility. All right. All right. So we are uh, making a nice move here. We're about to take out the 9.10 pivot here, and I'm still going to ride this little scalp lower and just kind of roll my stop. So this is the bounce. If it fails this bounce, then we're really going to have some sell. And if Apple joins the fund, we're really going to have some sell. <clears throat> CL's moving above 74. Yeah, yeah, it is. Look at that. Nice move. Oh, yeah. R5 and S5 are significant. I'm sorry, I didn't put those on there. R5 and S5. Man, NASDAQ is still dropping, man. Look at this. Holy crap. All right, I'm gonna, now I'm going to roll my stop down to 512, and that's going to be my stop there. This thing is just blasting now. If Apple rotates down just like everything else, I mean, NASDAQ is going to plummet. So I'm just going to keep this scalp on. A little bit of profit taking here on NASDAQ. <clears throat> Good gosh. Now we're spicy. Somebody somebody accidentally uh, knocked over the Cholula. Because this is spicy. I love Cholula. I love Valentina's too. Nice, Trippy Mike. Well done. <clears throat> All right, rolling my stop down a little bit. 510. A lot more than a lot more than I expected. Uh, to start the uh, the first 30 minutes off here, but this is still going, and the top week's barely even holding. Keep an eye on Apple. Apple's nothing but green right now. Nothing but green. Now, I'm with you. I'm with you, Ivan. I'd love to see that. Close the gap and, and bounce it. 
Um, <clears throat> which, by the way, we have settlement open is going to be at 466 on NVIDIA. I'm sorry, um, NASDAQ. Well, pretty much might as well call it NVIDIA at this point, uh, which is 30 points down. <clears throat> So far, the buyers are unable to bottom wick this thing just yet, so I'm going to continue to ride this thing, and there goes the top wick on Apple. Microsoft is getting smoked. Look at the red candles on Microsoft. This is redunculous. Redunculous. This is pretty heavy stuff, though. Pretty heavy stuff. <clears throat> Pretty heavy stuff. Got my daily goal. Thanks to your NVIDIA and Meta. Nice, Ivan. Keep an eye on Apple. Keep an eye on Apple. They still haven't stopped me out. I'm going to continue to ride this baby down. If it breaks this candle, what I'm going to do is set my stop at the bottom of the prior candle, which will be roughly 492 once we're under it. Once we're under it. <clears throat> Maybe because the Russian spy thing in their emails. <laughs> Love it. Boom, stopped you out, which means they're about to drop it. So, however, I am stopped out back to flat here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my order flow. Or I'm going to have my order form ready for an additional entry here because <clears throat> I'm keeping an eye. We have a bottom wick on in Microsoft. Now remember, before this. Before we say anything else here, you remember the first 30 minutes is strictly momentum trading. Strictly momentum trading. So, a lot it's hard to do VPA in the first half hour, so it's momentum trading here. But I'm watching Apple. If Apple give me a big red, uh, I don't know, some big red gabagoo, then I'll, I'll, I'll add additional short here. So, maybe a little retracement back up to the liquidity of 528 and then back off. Still a whole bunch of green in the market, though. So, like I said, just play momentum at this point. Am I in a trade? Currently not. I was. Currently not. <clears throat> For some reason, Spotify just gave me the theme to Last of the Mohicans. Kind of hits. I accept what Spotify gives me. Large green candles. Man, Apple rocket ship, man. Nothing's holding back Apple. Russell will be the moneymaker this week. Hey, keep me honest. Keep me honest. If that's the case, then I'll trade me some Russell. I mean, I need to get in Russell anyway. I need to make a big play on Russell. Maybe I'll have the same luck with Russell as I did with the uh, Japan market. That was beautiful. Beautiful. <clears throat> Gotta say, having multiple accounts is getting annoying, mostly because I tend to hit big trades on the account I care less about. What are you using? What broker are you using? Man, look at Apple just going. Just going. Russell's still going up here. NASDAQ. Apple is still on a rocket ship. Back inside the range here. They're just carving out a range. So far, a pretty healthy range, man. We're talking about a 100-point morning range. ES... Right now, about a 10-point range. So I would say the momentum right now is definitely on NASDAQ, especially for trading futures. The Russell, I'll tell you this, the Russell is going to really test my abilities to form macro levels at all-time highs just because of their options chain data.
I shorted NASDAQ at 580, but it was on the account again I care less about. I have two funded on top step, cash account, combine. Uh, uh, what, um, what, what broker do you use? <clears throat> motive wave. Never heard of that. Never heard of motive wave. Is that any good? You like it? Seventeen five three two here. All right, still going. <clears throat> so one trade on the day so far. Apple is still beast mode, and we are climbing. Seventeen five thirty here. You see that the bulls are still defending every red move. It's been the same thing the past two weeks. Uh, in fact, it's been very common to see pre-market and opening pressure. It's just following the same script: big, pre big sell pressure to start to a big, before the day begins, and then once we begin, we have a nice little what hundred point sell off here. So, still fitting the same script. The buyers are still defending. Apple is still blasting out of the top. We have a couple of very small icebergs on here. Last week we saw a plethora of very large icebergs. Today, uh, just some small stuff. Nasdaq here is pretty uh, a barren landscape of anything major here, but still watching. Bullish day so far. So far, yeah. Yeah, they're buying up everything. <clears throat> I do have bookmap on Discord, by the way. What does plethora mean? Like a lot. A lot. A large or excessive amount of something. I have no idea where that comes from. <clears throat> Russell has made my year. Nice, Rob. Thoughts on Palantir? I see a lot of people talking about it throughout the Twitterverse. I personally don't trade it. Um, I used to be bullish on it. I used to hold long-term holdings on it, but I dumped them way long time ago, but they have gapped up uh, today from their 1669. So a lot of momentum there. <clears throat> Remember when you told us to dump? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Um, now, I, I was holding because of fun, uh, fundamental reasons, not because of uh, the chart. And I dumped it way back when. And uh, obviously, they went from 25 on down to 590 before bouncing back up. So it's good stuff. All right, what do we have here? Um, coming back up. Love OM University so far. Best money's are spent yet. Oh, nice. How there? Appreciate that. Thank you. Let me know. Let me know if you have any uh, any um, I don't know what's the word I'm looking for. Recommendations and stuff like that. I'm always looking to learn and improve. They got heavy contracts with Israel. Yeah. A lot of liquidity here at 48.97. Right there. If Apple gets turnt, then uh, we may face a little bit of pressure. NASDAQ is still doing its thing. Boom. Green. Still going. My figure is itching a long NASDAQ and watch it go to 17600 a day. For show. I made some money on leaps, both the Palantir. I sold them. Nice. All right. 500 iceberg. So 
see a potential divergence on SPY. We'll see. So we have the top of the hour coming along here. Obviously, the volume's already fallen off. And we will watch to see what this thing is going to do. Microsoft is starting to fail. It, it appears Apple is starting to fail over. 4897. <clears throat> Apple still going green though. Still going green. Forty-eight ninety-seven. Here, what we got? Fifteen, seventeen, five, three, seven, five, three, eight. Small iceberg at five, four, four. Here, Microsoft is getting turned down. All we need is a little bit of push from Apple, though, and we'll know. Meanwhile, XL have hitting new highs. NVIDIA's all over the place. Yeah, there's definitely some pushing and pulling here. <clears throat> NVIDIA is bouncing back and forth. Their overall pin to 600. <clears throat> but you have to remember, that 600 level is a big, big level. Uh, anytime you hit a 0, 0 level, especially a new 0, 0 level, like NVIDIA hitting 600, there's going to be a lot of shaking and baking. People taking profits, opening positions, covering, all that kind of stuff. So... Why do blue line on the on the 500? Because it came on and was transacted immediately, right here. <clears throat> Ticks extreme plus 1,000. Yeah, XLF is blasting 38.25. Forty nine hundred. Nasdaq has this seventeen five fifty. VIX ain't moving. What's up, Uber? How you doing? CL seventy four. Oh yeah. So they were they hit seventy four and rejected back off. They were seventy four thirty. Rejected back off, so still the same name of the game here. They do have a trend line up at 7460, and they've kind of been rejecting back down. So we'll see what uh, what happens with Ole at the moment. <clears throat> at the moment here, Microsoft 39740. ES, large red candle on ES forming. Small caps are blasting. Russell. Apple is still holding strong. All right. Seven or eight points there still dropping. Still unable to get 4,900 there, but they did not actually transact this guy right here at 95. They just kind of moseyed on through it. Moseyed on through it. Double bottom wick here on NASDAQ as they're continuing to hold up. We have two minutes till the top of the hour. Two minutes till the top of the hour here. Tesla's pumping. Tesla is pumping. I am tempted, not going to lie, to pop into a long here 
uh, but I need this candle to close in 50 seconds first. <clears throat> I want this candle to close. If we have a double bottom wick here on NASDAQ and Apple's still going, and plus if we get another bottom wick on Microsoft, we could retrace back up to the 17.8580590 here, but like I said, I need this candle to close. 15 minute candles. We have a very large top wick to start the day off, and this one is a uh, bullish back up here. So, swap and licks. How do you mosey through without transacting? They cancel the order. They take it off. Right here. How you doing? What's going on, my? How you doing? Still going green here. You know how, how all indicators are lagging. If you use VPN the 15 or waiting for the candle to finish, isn't that a huge lag from an EMA crossover on the 5? Uh, yeah, but it all depends on... If you're scalping, you know, you, you may, you may want to hang on the 5, but if I'm looking for a hold, like, for example, I entered off the 15 on Friday, uh, and I held it all day. So if you're looking to hold longer, then you, you're not worried about the 5-minute EMA crossover. If I'm looking to take a 3-week dated sw uh, swing trade... I don't care about the 15-minute crossover. I want the 60-minute and the 120-minute. So it all depends on the style of trade. If you're scalping a couple of ticks, then you don't you don't want to go to the 15. You want to stay on the 5 or even shorter. But it all depends. All right, there's top of the hour. And immediately, although they close with a hammer, they open back up here with a red, and they're uh, already hell uh, bottom wicking this thing. Apple's still going higher. So, uh, yeah, interesting. Top of the hour set. Oh, man. So a lot more call flow is hitting NVIDIA. Interesting. Doge it out. Just want to say thanks. I love how I informed the channel. Nice, Senator. Yeah, I appreciate that. I appreciate you being here. I'm glad you all get some value out of it. <clears throat> so, 17,542 up to 4,900. NASDAQ is still climbing up here. Apple blasting out of the top right there. So, there's the bottom. We're about to go green here. Still holding on to 17,540. So, we are continuing to pin to 540. And there's another top wick back over. Ooh, a little volatility coming in here. A little bit of volatility coming in here. Large red on Microsoft. What's ES doing? ES is red dumping over there as well. Uh, would you ever consider trading options in individuals? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. In fact, that's one of my goals for this year. What do you do to figure out your options contract size based on how much you want to risk per trade? I have a number in my head that I work with, that I'm comfortable with, that I use for for scalping and for confident positions. And that's really that's custom tailored to every person and their account size. There's a there's a point at which I if I go too big that I cross that I will take a lot of dumb losses because I, I'm, I, I'm, I'll be too emotional. As disciplined as I am, if I cross that dollar amount, I won't be disciplined anymore because I'll be a jabroni. <clears throat> and I know that number, and I stay away from it. Large red candles here. Vega. I love uh, I love Street Fighter. Good stuff. What's up, Invest in Muscle? How you doing? Love the name. Love the name. Coming off 517, 520. That's a little bit of a high pressure spike right there. What's AVGO doing here? They're coming off here. I do expect this to play through because the only thing in the NASDAQ that's have strength is Apple at the moment. Goldman Sachs doing it this 
Goldman Sachs is beast mode there too. That's another reason why. Nvidia big red candles. Dropping back off. Man, look at this. Plummeting. What's up, Pastor? How you doing, buddy? Hope you had a fantastic weekend. 15504, retesting that prior level. Microsoft is facing a lot of pressure at the moment. You see that iceberg just chased down, which is normally a sign of liquidity. It was a go time. Nvidia is 595. Five oh three, five oh two. We'll see if this thing can dump down. If it can wipe out the four nine one, we might have a bit of a pressure here for the morning. A lot of pressures coming on here. Rolling over. I'm uh, scalping short on Nasdaq myself here. Look at that. Nasdaq is still pushing lower here. Still pushing lower here. This is a go time level 490 for NASDAQ. Granted, I'm, I'm, I'm being very selective with my terminology and scalping because I still don't trust much yet. Sweet. And they're bouncing off that liquidity zone right there, 495. No news, no follow through, green on 4860 trail stop. Great, I can't read that last part of it. Most of the stocks are overbought on the daily. Not really. Um, yes, they're overbought, but yeah, we, you know, we, we just pinned flat for five weeks. Alert on NASDAQ, 17516. There we go. Uh, so yeah, um, we, we've just consolidated for five weeks straight, and then finally the volume came in and blasted, not to mention the 4,800 pull. So obviously there's going to be some profit taking after such a strong move for, what, two days in a row. NASDAQ had, uh, what, 700 points in two days? So it's an incredible move. And there's going to be some shaking and baking, but the whole thing is, that's why I'm trying to tell you all, I would not get longer term bearish until we have a daily close that shows us to do so. Otherwise, they're doing what they're doing now. What they've been doing for the past week is they're hammering everything. And they're going to continue to position the market higher until we breach into their supply. Nice, Trader J. Well done. What happened to the guy with a profile photo holding an ornament? Would you go long on NASDAQ for TAPS 492 for the fourth time? Uh, no, I would not. So the third, the third touch, you form the trend. Uh, two touches, it's just more of a, a double bounce or a double rejection, whichever. Third time, you're forming the trend, and the fourth time is go time. So uh, I would wait for that thing to close and then go. Yeah, CJ left the server. C yeah, he said he had some family issues. Ooh, look at that, 4875. Look at that cat right there. Look at that cat right there. Interesting. This is an important level right here. Forty-eight ninety-two. that would put us about a 20-point drop on this move. Bonds prices on Friday reduced the likelihood of a rate cut by 40. Could be seeing some of that sentiment. Yeah. Yep. 48.92 right here. Microsoft is still top wicking and testing their low and absorbing. Apple is still holding 194.60 doing their thing. Doing their thing.
All right. Oh, man. Uh, Microsoft is still dropping, so it's still a lot of pressure on Microsoft, man. Um, Apple, 194.64 and going. NVIDIA is putting on a big green bounce back up. And there goes NASDAQ all the way back up. All the way back up. Boom. Seven five three three. Apple still going. Microsoft is basing three nine five eight six and doing its thing. Nice. Right back to VWAP, all the EMAs are kind of smashed, and we keep on pinning back to 533540 on NASDAQ here. ES continues to pin 4894. We've got about 20 minutes until the morning range is set. <clears throat> but we are uh, not really moving here. We keep on testing the upper and lower bounds, 539, 530, right about here. Pressure coming on again, red candles. Another dump back over. Five twenty. Apple, if they can give out, that's what I'm looking for. Keep an eye on Apple. They continue to trudge higher. Microsoft again testing their pivot lower, three ninety five sixty. Five two zero. CVD still pressure. Five one six. New, new low of the day from Microsoft there. Keep an eye on Apple. Keep an eye on Apple. 516. Man, look at Microsoft getting pummeled. What's NVIDIA doing here? <clears throat> 519, 512, 513. Apple still not moving. Big old bottom wick back up on NASDAQ, or NASDAQ here. So overall, not really to, looking to throw down in another trade just yet. They keep on pinning to 520, 530. There's this red candle bottom wick, green candle top wick, all back to pin to 530. And there's just fake outs left and right. So I don't really want to be a part of that right now. I'm just going to wait. Uh, wait for something here. Wait for something. <clears throat> Big old green on Microsoft. Big old green on Microsoft. Hammer candle back up. And it looks like NASDAQ is about to launch as long as they don't top wick this again. That's a massive bottom wick right there to go. Man, they're wicking this thing. They're wicking 30, 40 points a candle on NASDAQ. Nasty. Do I think PayPal will have a good year? I don't know. We'll see. Maybe some serious mad skills to scalp this. Yeah, I, I would. You know, that's why I'm saying I'm not really looking at uh, testing this just yet. Microsoft bounce again, fourth time. Apple has not sold off at all, so it's still holding everything up nice. I don't miss data. First option trade in four months. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's funny how that works, isn't it? And 
And once again, top wick back down to still hold 17030530. ES is still holding 4895, just under 4900. I just had a gigantic blast off day from my daily goal, blasting up to my cover calls with diagonal spreads and collecting premium. Nice, Mr. 50. I love it. Highest income of all time. If that's the case, you definitely should be done. Well done. Keep it up. Make a demani. Nvidia. <laughs> so Nasdaq opens the next five minute candle with a red immediately bottom licks back up. So the buyers have bottomed like the last three candles and are probably going to launch here uh, and break out of this little range momentarily here. We'll see. It's got to deal with 552 five, first. Other than that, nothing too crazy here. I wouldn't be jumping. I wouldn't be too crazy to get into a trade here with all this fluctuating all over the place. We need to pick a direction. First hour, let we, which we have 15 minutes left. Um, yeah, just whipsaw. Yeah, ES is bottom looking here too. Back up, still holding just under 4,900. Why I'm breaking out. Still pinned to 540. Microsoft coming all back down. Apple going up. NASDAQ bottom wicking still. So a lot of cross currents today. A lot of cross currents. What's the 60 minute look like on NASDAQ? NASDAQ has a massive bottom wick on the daily chart, on the 60 minute chart here which will obviously will finish up here in 13 minutes. Uh, but yeah, showing uh, a lot of signs of, of accumulation with all these bottom wicks, even the five minutes bottom wicking. Trading any earnings on Netflix or Tesla? I may take a Tesla play, but it'll be purely speculation. I won't touch Netflix, though. <clears throat> we'll see, though. Hard to tell on, on Tesla. Major bottom wick there. Another rig red candle on NASDAQ immediately bottom wick. So still, it appears they're just kind of dipping below to gather inventory. <clears throat> but no plays at the moment. No plays. I hate wicky days like this. Seventeen five three one. Nasty, nasty action. Another red candle. Still, I need to get away from this five three zero area. Got to get away from it. We're pinned. Pinned. Seventeen five two four. Microsoft still going to lows. And Apple going to Home Depot, apparently. You know what I'm learning? If you still covered calls, you can be in the money pretty deep for a long time. And it's totally cool. The broker could discover it. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, red. 520. New low of the day on Microsoft. And Amazon is testing lows of the day. On down. 
518, 517, 519. The bottom wick, the last bottom wick on NASDAQ happened at 515 right here, and it's doing the same thing again. Boom. Microsoft still drilling. Amazon still drilling. Apple, 194.70. No trades for me. I don't like any of this. Let's see if we can get a big red to blast down until 496. Nope. Still holding up. Psych. Oh, man, this is terrible. This is terrible. As long as you got it secured against cash or stock, you can just collect premium deep of the money. Oh, yeah. That is my preferred way to trade in a normal environment, quote-unquote. Microsoft is really getting hammered here. Getting hammered. Nice little red. Let's go. What do y'all think? I'm going to hit the options flow here. What's the Gex at right now for the week? Hey, another bottom wick. Um, so right now the Gex has a whole bunch of exposure around 478 up to 488, so a lot of exposure there. The deltas right now are also uh, heavily red for the week on the dealer side. Big old bottom look right there. So the, the positioning this week on the option chain is slightly bearish, I would say. Um, that's strictly for the option chain here. So Maybe a little profit taking, maybe more of a pin week inside week going into next week's insane volatility. <clears throat> Seventeen five two one here. Apple still going higher, one ninety five. And I'm watching this candle right here. We have another green attempt by Nasdaq. It's being top wicked. We'll see if we can refresh down to four nine five. Right now, it's a scalper's chart. Just be careful. That's all I'm saying. I would, in my opinion, I, I would recommend you pull back position sizing until we pick a direction. If you are going to trade this, uh, and just wait. Right now, it's 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 just all over the wicked all over the place. One hour Nasdaq Doge. Yeah. The CVD is declining. The pressure is on Nasdaq here for the time being. But it's um. Yeah. I can't imagine what NASDAQ would be doing right now if Apple would turn down. Pull a little uh, little John, get turned down for what? <clears throat> yeah, yeah. What? 510. <laughs> Unsubscribe. It's a little John, man. I would subscribe again if I could. I might, I might subscribe to myself. Iceberg this week is compared to last week. Yeah, very, very small. Very, very small compared to last week. 506, 505. Man, these candles are shaky. I hate it. Five oh four, five oh three. Up to seventeen five fifty just pinged on two. Danny Gabagoo. Danny Gabagoo. Waiting on Apple. Yep. Apple is putting on a bit of an ascending wedge type of look, but it's still trudging higher. 
I discovered it a few months ago it's been a major game changer. I think I found it about June during some of the volatility. I love it. Yeah. I'm telling you, man, you keep doing that, you will have you will have a high seven figure account. If you don't already, I don't know what your account is, but you keep doing stuff like that. It's beautiful. Wiki D's. <laughs> the big the big yellow W. I love it. Wiki D's. That's hilarious. We're reading Wiki D's today. I mean, I'm I'm stealing that by the way. I'm stealing that. Well, I ain't got much for y'all right now. We have five minutes of the morning range is set. And we are uh, bouncing all over the place here. Apple, new high of the day, continuing to blast into the oblivion. Five fifty. Why am moving higher? Yeah. Nasdaq is putting on a bit of a descending wedge look. Apple's putting on an ascending wedge look. Amazon, Microsoft, all those kinds of uh, the lower lows, lower highs look. We'll see what this thing can actually do. Seventeen five two four. Looking for five fifty. What does a red rectangle number mean in book map? That is the stop indicator. You talking about these things? The number changing near the bubble. This is no man's land, which I always try to stay out of. Yeah. Wait for the break, man. Wait for the momentum break. It'll happen. And if it doesn't, then it's a no trade day, which is perfectly acceptable. So wait for uh you know wait for the momentum break, and then play it. Until then, what I would do is cut your position sizing back. Don't get caught up in chop land. Don't get caught up in chop land. We had a beast mode of a day on uh, on Friday. You know you know what today is like. Today is like after you go, you go get your nice big old steak dinner, get your nice porterhouse, you know, with a gigantic delicious baked potato, and then you go home, and then immediately you want to go. Hey, let's go to Taco Bell. Just wait. Let your food digest. Top wick. Ooh, the tomahawk. Yeah, I love it. Russell's not cho is chopping. I uh, know Russell is beast mode. Beast mode. Right now. Get the tomahawk over here. Love it. The biggest thing I like about my evolving system is the ability to walk away after 1.5 hours. I don't have any positions less than seven days expiration. I have spreads from seven to forty-five days. I cover calls out there nearly a year after your stream ends. I'm reading and learning throughout the day. You like Buffett and Munger, like trading is just supportive my education at this point. Love it. It's beautiful. Big old top wick Nasdaq. Back down. Fifteen five oh eight. Man, look at look at Microsoft continuing to get blasted. All right, well, this will be the one, two, three, four, fifth, sixth time NASDAQ is testing the 499-500 area. Will this be the time it blasted? Baja blasted. And Microsoft is still getting blasted. Any pressure on Apple and NASDAQ is going to jump off a cliff without a parachute. But, man, whew. look at the CVD as well. The CVD continues to decline to negative 1,500. But they're still holding up at 500. Another bottom quick. Man, crazy. Man, everything is dumping. Even S yeah, S SCMI is dumping too. Large red except for Apple. Everything is rolling over. New low of the day for NASDAQ here. Testing. One, two, three. Where's the pressure? Man. Hit my daily. Nice, Dan. Well done, buddy. Sounded like you're reading terms of conditions. <laughs> I love it. I 
I love it. Have a good one, everyone. Uh, yeah, thanks, Dan. Have a good day, buddy. Eat some good food. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Man, Microsoft is getting pummeled. Thank you. Golly. The sellers are dipping this thing into, into demand, man. They are doing their jobs. Doing their jobs. Microsoft still dropping. Wow. Four eight zero. Microsoft is getting pummeled. I can't believe that. It's crazy. They are now down one point two percent. Apple is still going higher. Amazon is holding up a little bit better too. <clears throat> Flipped it. The whole PMYM was the weakest, and that was the strongest. Oh yeah, still going down red. Nice move. Nice move. All right, where's this thing going to come on down to? We have a little bit of liquidity sweep down to, we're approaching one. Um, and nice move down so far. We just set the morning range too. So 48, 98, 25. And then... Forty-eight, eighty-five, twenty-five. So we're dealing with a thirteen-point range on ES. Nasdaq is a little bit more healthy. Man, look at that. Pressure again. So we're down, still going even more. Booyah. Man, this thing is killing it. Killing it. Nice little bottom wick here. Boom. All right, I just pinged long on that NASDAQ right there. Scalping along on that. And do you hear about the cyber truck that doesn't have a clear coat to cover trucks, so you have to clean it all the time and it gets corroded? I didn't hear about that. Isn't, isn't that the stainless steel, though? Isn't that the nature of the stainless steel? Yeah. No bueno, man. No bueno. Yeah, I, ho I hope they clear that up, man. I was a big fan of that truck. You know, I, I definitely don't want them to fail because that, that's a, I love that truck, but it's unfortunate. Boom, got it. Bottom wick. Beautiful. Beautiful. I feel like I should shoot two Tesla since I drew the exact body style when I was six. I love it. Let's see if they could flip this thing green. So far, we're about a 30-point bounce on a bottom wick with increased volume, third highest volume candle of the day. I'm going. Roll my stops up. Am I in a position? Uh, yes, I currently am in a position. I'm in a long NASDAQ at the moment. i got to fill it 462. I'm just going to roll my stops up here. Am 
My signal to get out was your entry. Nice trippy mic. Well, I'm not sure what we're. I'm not sure we're going to continue to plummet plummet now. Um, but I had a reason to take that long there. And uh, from there, I didn't short, which is obviously you know a little out of character for me. I I know, pop a bear over here, but you know what are you can do. Where's Paul? I haven't seen him today. I knew another bottom wick was coming at Theta soon after. Uh, this market looks pretty heavy, man. Aside from Apple, I mean, tech is getting bamboozled at the moment. Bamboozled. I took a nice short on Q's just got out. Nice, Nicka. Nikki. Was it Nikki O? Nikki Notch? What Taco Bell is good for with Baja? I love the Baja Blast. Did you know you can make Baja Blast with, what is it, Sprite and uh, Blue Gatorade? Something like that. So, yeah. Something like that. It's something with, um, it's something with, with, with that. I, I forget what it was. It's like sugar and Blue Gatorade or... That's like a million grams of sugar. Speaking of which, did you know Wendy sells a lemonade that's got 140 grams of sugar? A single lemonade? It's terrible. Seventeen four seven six. <laughs> that's a cup of diabetes. <laughs> yeah. Aren't most fast food lemonades like that? Yeah, way too much. All right, stop down my long right there. Apple, 194.97. 450. So ES removed the 48.74 down here. I'm shorting Wendy's. Something at Panera's? I don't know. I haven't heard that one. Oh, man. Mountain Dew Gatorade? That could be it, yeah. The strawberry limit. I'm diabetic and learned the researching. What I, yeah. My mom was type 1 diabetic, so I'd, I was pretty well versed in, you know, diabetes and the effects on diabetes and stuff and insulin response. The effect of insulin, the, the effect of the presence of insulin on your metabolism. It's hard, man. It's hard on your body. Body's not made to to consume sugar. We're not made to have we're not tailored, you know, made to have sugar in concentrated forms. Like naturally occurring sugar, like fruit and stuff is okay, but concentrated forms, man. Caffeine and do infused lemonade. The Chick fil A frosted coffee is straight Colombian bam. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Guy talks like Sam Sulek. This is great. <laughs> I like Sam Sulek. This dude's awesome. All right, 17477. I just stopped out of my long, so um, I bought it. I got a filled 462, and I stopped out at 474. So for 12 points, I was hoping to get a little bit bigger of a bounce, but I don't want to risk a lot of plunge. I'm not too confident. I was taking a good speculative long there. I'm not too confident here because there's so much pressure on the market. All we need is one little uh, turn down on Apple, and we are going to drop um, if it ever does but the fact that Apple's blasting right now I don't really want to front run that you know that's one of the reasons I'm still listing towards calls and longs because the strength in Apple may start to trickle in with the other names here too so um, I'm not really looking for Apple to turn down and short I'm looking more of the other names to catch up to Apple and bounce not to mention we are in a macro bullish trend uh, that's you know 
that's the way I'm kind of looking at it. If I'm wrong, cool. But that's my um, that's my theme. Four eight six here. All right, so that yeah, that volume candle on Apple could signify that we have hit some supply. That looks like a bit of a uh, blow off top. So keep an eye on Apple the next few candles. SMCI got smoked. I back in the day, I love Big Macs. Now I'm just mad. Hey, I still love Big Macs. Don't get me wrong. You know what's changed for me? Uh, chocolate. I used to be like super indulgent. Like I want chocolate ice cream with chocolate syrup. With uh... hold on a second, I was muted. I was muted. Yeah. So for me, my thing was chocolate, Mr. Fifty. I still love Big Macs. Like it was like I wanted chocolate ice cream with chocolate pieces with chocolate syrup and chocolate fudge and you know chocolate whipped like all this stuff on it. Now it's like man, that's way too much. I just want some like basic vanilla, maybe a cookie dough. I'm good to go. But I still love some Big Macs. All right, um, I'm still not in another trade. I'm waiting to see how this thing absorbs. Amazon is still punching new lows here. Microsoft is 394.51 and dropping back off. Tesla's getting smoked back down. By the way, if you are watching on the YouTube, nearly 300 people, if you want to hit that like button, and subscribe if you like what you hear and see. Feel free to hit the dislike if you don't. I appreciate that. Everything's incredibly worth low-key, not just McDonald's. The quality of every restaurant has gone down greatly. It's either I've gotten old and disgruntled, or the quality has actually gotten worse. Because every restaurant I go to, I'm like, I don't want to come here anymore. Like Olive Garden, for example. Delicious, like, delicious uh, guilty pleasure. Obviously not real Italian food, but hey, it could scratch the itch. Terrible. Terrible. Last time we went there, I was like, I'm never coming back here ever again. It's terrible. Aside from the fact that I spent 80 bucks for two people. Seventeen four seven two. There's a little bit of red on Apple after the blow off, and we may have some pressure here. May have some pressure. Either way, doesn't look all that great. It was garbage, Ochiro, yeah. What did you order? An appetizer and two entrees. It's terrible. Lower quality food cost list, yeah. Best food I have is making it home. Absolutely, especially now that I've nailed the uni. Man, you can't beat my pizza. Put a little gabagoo on it. Oh, man, Way cheaper than a restaurant. Plus I have fun doing it. Oh, yeah. All right, NASDAQ continues to press lower. Microsoft is finally starting to bounce. ES is still holding their morning low here, 48.86. Um, yeah, we're pressing. We're pressing.
Amazon still pressing lower. NASDAQ attempts, it looks like it's attempting to break down. A lot of pressure here. Are you ever going to get to the point where it makes it more sense to hire your own chef so you don't have to waste time on it? No. Not unless I have a very good year and make 20, 30 million. Uh, but no, I, I actually enjoy cooking. I'm pretty good. I'm a pretty good cook. I actually enjoy it. It's like woodworking. I enjoy it. Now, hiring someone to clean the kitchen after I'm done, that's, that's a better option. All right, red candles dropping. 460. Amazon is still getting pummeled. Pummeled. NASDAQ is testing this 460 area. Man, I hate shorting the hole. I hate shorting the hole, but this thing is pressing lower and lower. 17,460. 4875. Dropping back off 3587. Holding. Bottom wick here. Apple big red candles. Microsoft big green candles. <laughs> Jeez Louise. VIX thirteen fifty five. Oh, there's the big blow right there. Pumped and lower. On down. Large red candles four four eight and dropping already. Large red on Apple. So that in fact was the blow off top. The big the big volume spike. That in fact was the blow off top. And now Apple's uh, is dropping back off. Y'all know what I mean by that? That means we hit supply on Apple. That's that chart right there is what I'm looking forward to short on the long term on ES and Nasdaq. So this chart on the daily is what I'm looking for on ES and Nasdaq to short. A big volume spike at the end of a bull run indicates weakness into supply or strength into supply. And then we roll. When I see this occur on the daily chart, then I'll look to take in a swing put. Until then, negative. Meanwhile, ES is still plummeting. God, look at this. This thing is tanking, dude. Still going. Because that shit a hell of a deal to roll a strike a minute ago. Yeah. 5, 8, 6, 140 points down. Still going. Large red candles. Apple's giving it all back here, which is showing a lot of pressure. Boom. The four four five. Four four five down bottom wick. Still pressure. Still sell pressure. <clears throat> There's that bottom like there. Enjoy the show. What's the hell longer? That's all right, Dan. You still hit your daily goal. That's all you can ask. That's all you can ask. And VIX is holding 1360. Apple is still going over red. On down. SMCI. 
Yeah, they're bottom wicking, but holding. Man, NASDAQ is just getting rolled, dude. Getting rolled. Oh, yeah, Danny. Absolutely. Love it. Love having you back. Man, what a day. What a day. Yesterday I watched a YouTube show where the individual is absolutely certain that the market will utterly crash this year because it's overextended. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> good luck with that. I'm telling you, man, my thesis on the big on the big sell-off is still hasn't changed. I still think we're going to break back down big time. Big time. Hundreds and hundreds of points. But we're not there yet. We're just not there yet. Um, not until the rate cut cycle starts. They're going to continue to position this market higher and um, and go. I have a bad tendency to short and lose all the time, but now I'm scared I'm missing this whole move. You know, that's okay. You know, we're still in a bull trend, you know. I haven't taken, you know, I, I scalped a short, but I haven't taken a big short move here. Um, I took a big short on the opening move, scalped a few here, but, I mean, nothing crazy here. So, I mean, don't don't sweat it. Ain't no big deal. Ain't no big deal. Hope you have a great day as well, man. Time to work on ministry. The real work, baby. Do God's work. Spread the word, baby. Spread the word. Honestly, won't think it will happen until after the election. It's certainly possible. This election is going to be insane. And I'm not looking forward to it. Thank heavens I don't have cable and I don't have to listen to the crap in the, in the advertisements. You think they could take out the low on the daily? It's certainly possible. This is a lot of pressure. And Apple's giving some back here. The prop is, is, is holding up the market here. Nice little green engulfing start to form. See if the buyers can do the dang thing. You know who's got my vote? Whoever decides to disband the IRS and, and the income tax. I will vote for you every single time. I don't even care what your other policies are. My sister obsessively watches CNN. Drives me nuts. It's, all that stuff is terrible. Fox News is, is awful. CNN is awful. They're all, it's all terrible. All right, what do we have here? What do we have? Let me uh, hit old refresh on the options data. Refresh. Order flow is down to 17.4 on NASDAQ. We have a whole bunch here on a yes. 4,900 down to 48.70, even down to 48.50. So we have a lot of pull there. The order book is uh, slightly bearish here. I'm sorry, the, the options flow here is, is slightly bearish. Looking at Friday's expiration. We have great pull down to the 478 range. Dealers are negatively, or they, the dealers right now have exposure to a lot of negative delta at the moment. 
and 480 is the main pivot. So we definitely have a little bearish positioning here, finally, after last week's bullish positioning, but we will see. It all depends on today's close. That too, Umi. That too. Dart yeah, Department of Education. Basically, what the new president of Argentina did. Came, th came in and shut the whole thing down. I'm like Ron Swanson from Parks and Rec. What's up, Maddie? How you doing? <laughs> Greatest TV character ever. <clears throat> what are we doing? What are we doing? What's the best state to live in for trading? Capital gains tax? Well, the states aren't going to really help you on capital gains tax. Definitely, I would want to live in a state without a state, a state income tax, because that's just putting fuel on, the, fuel on the fire. But it's not going to change your capital gains tax. <clears throat> I thought the U.S. is the world's police. Unfortunately, it is, and I'm very much against it. Forty-eight seventy liquidity. Oh, look at Apple. Look at Apple. Man, that's a lot of pressure. Apple is getting smoked at the moment. Getting smoked. Look at that. Forty-eight seventy. Oh man, real mafioso to come in backhand these politicians. <laughs> Slap a cold cut sandwich down there. My lip test for politicians is where they stand on life, fearfully and wonderfully made. Oh yeah, I love it, Grace. I was waiting for that until they bottom like everything. Yeah, we're we're gonna be patient here. We're gonna be patient. Visit Dubai one time per month, per six months. Keep the company. There you go. Oh, still more pressure here. Still more pressure here. And Apple's down. So ES has a lot of pull to 48.70. NASDAQ has some pull down to 400, which would be another 50 points down. And still pressure after pressure. Strong trend down day so far. NASDAQ is, is obviously in a strong trend. The sellers are taking full control of the order book today. Back off, 17400 Trend down, but so slow. Every five points drops. Buyers have to. Yeah, yeah. It's <clears throat> come on down here. Red candle support fifty. The pressure is definitely still down, especially now that Apple has joined the fund and they have sold off after the uh, buying the uh, the selling climax there. 
17 444 and still pressing down but yes it is very like fluttery the candles are very flooded we don't have any major like momentum blast hold every candle breaches down bottom wicks breaches down bottom wicks flutters they're fluttering so there's not a lot of momentum here but it's definitely still pressing down very slow Seventeen four four three. And if Apple gives back the entire day down to one ninety two. Mm, 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 mm. I don't like supply ops and prices not really moving much. Yeah, because it's going slow. Yeah, I'm praying over here. What's up, Douglas on trading? How you doing, buddy? XLF is giving it back. It's looking more and more likely ES is going to transact this 70 eventually. We still have a large iceberg, sell side iceberg up top here, but uh, yeah. Bottom wick. Took some patience, but held strong. Nice, Alex. Well done. Chiefs won. I'm stellar. Beautiful. Beautiful. Is that the last team before uh, Super Bowl? Is that what's next, Super Bowl? Do you think ES can touch Friday's highs? Oh, they get better. Look at XLF right now. XLF getting smoked. So ES better get on its horse if it's going to do something like that. Right now, there's a whole bunch of pressure. The sellers are in complete control of the order book at the moment. At the moment. And it's looking likely it'll touch. Ooh, another. Hey, look at that iceberg. That was interesting. The first big iceberg of the day just hit. You see it popped up. It was like 1,500. Eventually transacted about 900. That's the first buy side iceberg to that degree today so y'all know what that means y'all know what that means Well, now that I've seen one come on, because if I if I wasn't looking, I wouldn't have seen it, because I saw it flash about 1600, and then it transacted 900 here. So that's the first big iceberg. Oh, look at that, 1642. So second big iceberg here, uh, in this area. So as we come down into this 4870, boom, we're starting to see these large icebergs. Let's continue to watch to see if we have any more, because if they start to come on, you know, two, three, four of them, then we could speculate on an upside. Entering demand, absolutely, Pajama Trader. Absolutely. Four teams left. Uh. Tesla shares are down 1.3 after JP or after Morgan Stanley cuts the price target. Are all icebergs buy orders? No. So I translate into what they are based on their positioning and where they transact. Morgan wants a better place to go long. Absolutely. Absolutely. I 
I'm going to get me a good trade on here soon that I can hold for longer than four minutes. Am I planning to go long? Not yet, but I am going to be looking for a potential demand buy in this area. 48.70, mid to low 48.70s would be a great place based on what I'm seeing here. Tesla does look horrible on the daily. They're getting smoked. They just got down from 217 to 208. That would have been a beautiful put there. <clears throat> And they just top wicked again, which means they could this could be the move to two hundred on Tesla Roni. Hold two hundred put, beautiful. Well today's top wick if it closes is boating well for you. Look, more liquidity coming on here. No iceberg, but more liquidity. Which makes it more and more likely we're going to give a little tap tap -roo to the mid to lower 4870s. Seventeen four six five here. Done for the day. I only need a profit of six hundred dollars to pass eval. Nice trev. Beautiful. Large green here. Microsoft is creeping back up. Let's check over the fifteen minutes, sixty minutes, and so on and so forth. We have a green doji at the moment forming. 60 minute, we have the same thing. Green doji after very large red engulfing. <clears throat> Friday's move was so spectacularly large that um, there's a whole bunch of liquidity gaps down to about 240. But that's a big, big move. We have 22 minutes until UK closes. Sixteen forty two. We're hovering around in the morning low right now. NASDAQ is uh <clears throat> I'm gonna get those levels on there. I don't even have NASDAQ's levels on there. Same thing. Oh, man. <clears throat> Haven't even looked at Tesla's options data. Let me take a look. I'm curious myself.
positioning there, one six. Interesting. It's so next OPEX. Which big bookmap level gets taken out uh, first, 42, 49, 20, or 48, 47? Um, today, it looks like they want to grab that 48, 70. You know, uh, that's what I'm watching here, and I'm watching for any more influx of, of um, icebergs here, too. Honestly, I don't know. You know, uh, I said Friday that I would not even consider any shorts until today. I did not take my own advice. Uh, but it's from here, there's a lot of order flow coming down 4870, all newly managed order flow. And the order book is definitely controlled by the sellers today on today's session. Uh, more so on NASDAQ than ES. Although, even still, it's a muted day. You know, despite the fact that we've been a downtrend all morning, NASDAQ's only down like 110 points, 120 points. Which is a lot, but, you know, we've seen bigger days. E and ES is down, what, 17 points. So, a decently downtrend day here. And overall... You know, the buyers aren't able to respond more than a candle or two. You know, yes, we are both green on the day, but we had a pretty phenomenal pre a bullish pre-market. You know, um, just launched right at settlement open. But NASDAQ gave back 100 points of it. I got to stand up. From an emotional standpoint, it shakes people up, but we're still hanging up, uh, hanging out the highs. Yeah. Yeah. So if we can recapture, I don't know, 48.85 and hold, and put us on a good bottom wick here. I mean, look at Microsoft and Amazon. They're both starting to recover. That very well could have been the bottom here, but, man, I would love a good 48.70 40, to go long. But a hammer is definitely forming. Volume is not continuing, but that's kind of normal coming up in this time frame. Yep, yeah, so this little iceberg here is transacted. If it's still active, you would see it trailing the price. You'd see it uh, a blue line forming as the price goes, and then once it's transacted, it looks like this. But so far, there's been two major icebergs, the two biggest of the day. Uh, and we have a little bit of spoof 40 to 78 here. You see that little liquidity gap. But 1642 and 898 right there. I'm going to mute. I'll be back in a minute. All right, I'm back. Uh, two fly guy. What are icebergs? Icebergs are obscured orders. They are orders on which, for some reason or another, 
are hidden uh, to the open order book uh, for some parameter, which means they could, when they do execute, they could, they could execute in batches um, whenever, So, which we don't know that. What I want to know is where they are and how large they are. It tells me a good, a good amount of sentiment. There's a reason why they're doing that. So any kind of obscured orders, any kind of programmed orders is uh, a good way to track order flow. The YouTube chat is saying that the pending icebergs are above the current price or sells and below or buys. That's a good assumption, yes. Honestly, obviously we don't actually know, but it's a good assumption. Now what we don't, now furthermore is the question we need to ask ourselves, are those sell to open, sell to close, buy to open, buy to close? And it really doesn't necessarily matter. I just, I try to track overall order flow. That's why I don't really pay attention to like one iceberg necessarily, unless it's very large. I wanted to see like a, a conglomerate of orders, of icebergs. To really start driving sentiment, and just like in, just like the same way I use liquidity, like if I see a whole bunch of liquidity being added to a particular level, I want to pay attention to that. It's all about it all boils down to participation in the market. It's about participation in the market. Where the market participates is where the market is going to transact heavily. Our icebergs dark pool orders negative, <clears throat> negative, negative, negative. Forty-eight eighty-five into forty-eight ninety, forty-eight seventy, still climbing. Nice little bounce here on the old ES. Curious is why they're allowed to hide their orders. It's just a strategy. <clears throat> you know, for one reason or another, they don't want, you know, if they're going to put, you know, a five, if they're going to put 5,000 orders out there of a, e, or 5,000 contract order out there, they, they don't want to know. You know, they don't want everyone to know because it might move the markets. It might make the markets manipulate in a way they don't want. Some big, some big cat. So they put it on an iceberg. And they program their brokerage or their order flow or their, or their algorithm to execute that order in batches or some other, some other, um, programming that they can come up with. And they've got a rhyme and the reason for it. bit of red. Apple's kind of getting turned down a little bit here. Decent little top wick. Out long. Nice strategy. Eh? Well done. All right. Well, we got 12 minutes here till the euro market closes. You don't want to see every big player on the order book. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> So ES is up about 10 points. NASDAQ is putting on a nice little bounce to the tune of about 40 off this level. Three, seven, one. What's oil doing today? Still climbing through 74. 74.42 at the moment.
Looks like CL is rolled to H is 2. It is. It is flying fish for show. And it's holding it too. I want to move there. 74. All right, I'm going to zoom out to the daily on NASDAQ and see what this volume looks like so far. We are two hours into the day. And we're about 40% of Friday's volume. So we need a top wick with high volume to indicate any kind of swing position to the downside. If we have any kind of low volume and the candle closes anywhere up where we currently are, I would not be looking to take any swing puts. I would still be playing to go cautiously long. We'll see how the daily clo the candle closes, though. Well, all right, slow stuff. What do y'all think? Give me your thoughts. 17,500 on NASDAQ. Thinking about taking a Feb 9 4900 call. I would wait for today's close. Now, tech is already starting to recover. Look at Microsoft, Amazon. I don't know what the last end of the day holds, but I would just wait for today's close. Today's a you know low momentum slow, so far, a trend down day. So I just wait. At least today's session, the pre market obviously was bullish, but I would, I would give it a day. You know, VIX is up to uh, currently, you know, VIX is up 1.2 and they're not really rolling the VIX. So they are, there is some appetite for a little bit of positioning, not much. I'll just wait. So yeah. The pattern is common to ES on Russell buying a low between 11, 40, and 12, 15, 15, 15. Yeah, so that, that's exactly what's been happening. The past week, we've been having morning pressure and then afternoon buy-ups. That's been that's been the theme the past couple of weeks, actually, and that, that just shows that the late day. In fact, Linda Rasky, that falls in line with hers, is that bullish trends have that. They have morning weakness, afternoon sell or afternoon buy-ups. Bearish, bearish trends have the opposite. And that's just really, you know, adjusting the order book of the of the open every day. The market opens and they adjust the order book, and that's you know, that's what happens. What kind of close do you look for when terminating next day with possible price action? Uh, um, kind of what I was just, I kind of just inadvertently answered your question. Um, that that's pretty much it. Is if I see continued buy ups in the afternoon, I'm going to continue to play the long side of things. 
until that starts to flip. When it start when we start to see dojis or top wicks on the daily chart, which means like we're going to be having morning buy ups, afternoon sell offs. That means that we're starting to run into supply, starting to hit that brick wall, and the sellers are starting to transact. And then I tie that into the options chain, which, all right, are they setting up for a little bit of downside? Are you seeing the delta starting to flip a little bit? And then I'll be looking for a little bit of pressure. But the overarching theme to me is that even if you are scalping, I would rather you scalp in the direction of the long term chart. That's one of the reasons why today I didn't play a lot of downside. I'd scalped a few downside shorts, but I'm really just trying to look for the big setup where we're going to bounce and get that 30, 40, 50, 60, you know, 100 point bounce on NASDAQ. Uh, and that's where you catch those big moves, but you have to be patient. It's not necessarily catching a falling knife. It's just waiting until I see the VPA signals in the order book tell me, all right, well, this is just a little morning fluctuation, and now we're ready to get in. Now, in a big downside, I'm not looking to do that because you will catch a falling knife. Nice little move here. Oh, you're welcome, Kelly. Thanks for being here. Going long to left FOMC. There you go. There you go. FOMC is uh, the end of next week. No, it's the middle of next week. So what, Tuesday, thir Tuesday, Wednesday? So, yeah. I mean, you're absolutely right, Ivan. Yeah, we're, we're back inside the morning range, so we have... Uh, we had a little trend down morning, but now we're just back inside. So it doesn't know it no longer meets the definition of trend down. It's just more of a range day. We'll see how they hold it. Still not good at this yet. Oh, you're better than you think. You're better than you think. Didn't even touch Friday's high. Pretty hard to call it trend down anything. Yep. But uh, ES is still holding 48.85 here. NASDAQ is um, chillaxing here at 490. Two minutes till UK. Hate when they rate, rate slow this grind back up. Yep. I'm not seeing um, a whole bunch of strength after the initial move, so we'll see. Apple is 193.80. I would keep a close eye on them. And they are building the order book back around 48.90 and still holding this. They took that off, but still holding 48.75. Uh, NASDAQ is still holding negative 2,400 CVD, so the sellers are still hitting the NASDAQ. But overall, um, I'm going to play today like a little bit of a boxing match, just kind of see how this thing plays out.
Ooh, up through CL. 74, 73, blasting. Look at that. Major, major move up on oil CL. A 0.91% might just be done. Hey, that's a great day, though. Nearly 1%. Beautiful. Oil going nuts. Forty eight ninety. <clears throat> Video came back. Look at that. So did Microsoft and Amazon. Yeah, NVIDIA blasted back up. Google is starting to. Tesla still going lower. New low of the day for Tesla. Last line of defense here before 200 on Tesla. <clears throat> Natural gas down another 5%. Oof. Another green day. Nice, probably. <laughs> You're trying to make it a habit? It's a good habit to make. <clears throat> Took me a while, but I'm starting to see a tradable if it's a tradable day within the first hour. There you go. Love it. Yeah, no one to pull it back and no one to hit the gas pedal. Friday was a day to hit the gas pedal. Today's a day to just chill out a little bit. Just wait. A smaller position size, scalp as needed. Six hundred and fifty three percent on a call on Friday was beautiful. Now it's just waiting. Oh, man. Well, ES has been plus or minus 4884 for a hot minute here. Um, NASDAQ is kind of doing the same thing on their own bounds. There's not a lot of movement at the moment. European markets are now closed. NVIDIA is full on recovering. Oh, man. I'm going to give us a few more minutes just to see how it breaks away from here, and then we're going to call it a morning. Uh, and I'm going to keep an eye on things as usual here. Kids are out of school again today, so got to be the dad duties. It's now six days in a row of being out of school. They've been off all last week and probably be off again tomorrow. It's terrible. Extra Christmas break, yeah. Why so many days off? Because last Sunday, we had we got eight and a half inches of snow, and um, that's that's out of the ordinary for us. So uh, it locked all the schools down. Not to mention we have a lot of back roads, you know, obviously in the country, and uh, they can't clear those. So that's 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 the hold up here is the back roads. Yeah, uh, Alaska. I'm in northern Alaska. Yeah. Eight inches of snow. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you, not even eight inches, dude. If we had one inch, it would crumble. It would crumble. 1,300% tightly lot on Friday is my best. Nice, Ivan. That's awesome, dude. 1,300%.
Was was it on uh was it on SPX? I'm Canada, so snow's no biggie. Oh yeah. Yeah, you're Canada's got it, man. Nice. Very cool. I should have added exposure, but I was I was away from the computer a lot. That's probably why I was able to hold to six hundred fifty three percent because I was I was away from the computer a lot. Uh, I wasn't sitting there micromanaging the trade. I just set a stop and be like, well, I closed out major most of this at one hundred forty five percent, and I left two contracts on as runners. And I was like, I set a stop on them at like one hundred percent. I was like, whatever happens, happens, man. And I kept on coming back and I kept on going and going and going and going. I was like, heck yeah, man. We got pilots when it rains. <laughs> Yo, Cheerio. I love it. I'm in Montreal. You're welcome, Dave. Can't they go to school remotely? Please, no. Please, no. I did enough of that with coronavirus. That was terrible. I got hit hard here in Tennessee, too. Road's been nice for days. Oh, yeah. I want that. I could trade at home. Apple's breaking down slightly. A little bit of roll on NASDAQ. Yes, a nice move down. Twenty cents on CL Yahtzee. Hey, that's two hundred bucks. Let's get out let's get out dip so we can rip. Yeah. I can buy better things to do around the house today. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, y'all. I'm going to be in agreement with that. So um, starting to get a little slow. I don't want to bore y'all. I'm not entirely sure how they're going to play this thing out. So second breach of 17.5 should pop the NAS. Yep. Liquidity is uh, is up and down on a yes. Um. Not too much on NASDAQ here. The market is just not moving all that much at, at the moment. Volume has fell, fallen off. We're holding this 17.495 for 20 minutes now. And, uh, yeah. VIX is starting to roll off into the lower 13s again. Market is slightly recovered. But overall, my whole thing today is looking for today's close. I need to see today's close to really give me an indication of how this is going to play out. Like I said, I'm still not ready to jump on the bear wagon here. The option chain is positioning a little bit to the downside for the first time in a while. So they are starting to see some pressure here. So that's finally starting to see some signs that we could face that. But um, now, in the terms of long term, two, three, four months out, into FOMC, that is a possibility. The closer we get to FOMC, that is a possibility. Because the whole thing here is when are we, when are we going to get confirmation on a cut or possibly even low, very, very low probability, another another hike which will further delay the big sell-off. A glance at Boeing before you leave. Let me take a look. Yeah, my Boeing position has been taking a beating. I hate to see it. Um, they're back to 213. Man, what a, cra what a crazy, crazy. Hey, they just removed liquidity. What happened? What just happened here? Right when I started to sign off, they're going to dump it? Is that what we're doing now? 
Is that what they're doing here? Interesting. Hammer neck candle. Forty-eight eighty-three. Yeah, it looks like a sweep. Yeah, it looks like a sweep. Big red candles. Interesting. I'm watching Apple at the moment here too. Interesting. Okay. Um. You have a button, don't you? <laughs> I do. I do have a button. What does that mean when they usually dump off the jump off the quitty? Uh, usually it's some sort of. Uh, that's why I'm checking. I'm checking the calendar here. It is. We just had a three month auction, but that shouldn't be too big of a mover. So we don't really have any any big catalyst today. They took off liquidity, which means usually there's a catalyst or some sort of news event or something like that as they're wiping off the order book. Uh, but they didn't have it. So oh, okay, there you go. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> Kevin is yeah. Kevin's got a much bigger account than I do, so yeah, probably, probably. Um. All right, yeah, so let's watch. And what I would do right now is set a line on the bottom of that candle on NASDAQ because they just liquidity, liquidity swept down to 480 on NASDAQ and ES swept 881. So I'd put a line on both those levels and watch it. Watch what happens when we type those levels again. So the market's telling you where the liquidity is, and you just need to listen. I'm going to call it a day. Appreciate you all hanging out. Uh, if you're new and you still don't understand anything, please let me know. Ask questions, both in the stream and uh, you can hit me up with a DM or in the channels, whichever. If you're on YouTube, please come hang out with us. Tomorrow, uh, obviously, we'll be locked down. No no live YouTube tomorrow. Well, no public YouTube tomorrow. It'll be live, but just for the Discord. Other than that, hope you have a good rest of the day. Um, and I'm out. See you.